right, this is question number four from the Calc A, B, and Calc B, C exams in 2014. Um, and we are given a table of values, and we're asked a bunch of stuff. Uh, and also, some people found the notation a little confusing. We have v sub A of T, so that's going to be the velocity of A, whatever train, well, it's train A. Okay, um, so don't let that really confuse you. Um, and let's do this. So first thing we need the average acceleration. So average acceleration is the integral of acceleration divided by the interval um, over which we're interested. So the average acceleration is going to be the integral from 2 to 8 of a of t dt divided by 8 minus 2. Um, and that's going to be v of 8 minus v of 2 over 6 because the integral of acceleration is velocity. And then we read those off the table. So uh, v of 8 is negative 120, um, v of 2 is 100, so we get uh, negative 220 over 6, and that's in meters per minute squared, meters per minute squared, sorry. Uh, and then you could continue to simplify that, if you really wanted to, to negative 110 over 3 meters per minute squared. Uh, so that's part A. Uh, part B asks us if the table supports the conclusion that the train's velocity is negative 100 meters per minute at some time between 5 and 8, and we need to give a reason. Uh, so, I'm going to say that uh, velocity is definitely continuous, and we know that uh, v of 8 is negative 120, and v of 5 is 40, so since the function is continuous and it goes from negative 120 to 40, it definitely passes negative 100. So v of 8 is less than negative 100, which is less than v of 5. And therefore, by the intermediate value theorem, or IVT, v of t is definitely negative 100 for some t. Uh, we don't know what value of t, but we definitely know what happens. Uh, and that's all the question asked. Uh, okay, so the next question is, um, we know where the train is. Uh, at t equals 2. It's 300 meters east of the origin station, um, and it's moving to the east. What we want to do is we want to uh, figure out where it is at t equals 12. So first we have to write an integral for that. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to let uh, x a of t, I probably should have just let it be a of t, but whatever, um, be a's position at time t. So x a of 12 is going to be um, the position at 2, which was given, um, plus the integral from 2 to 12 of the velocity, right? So the total change. So that would be my integral. And now I have to approximate this using a trapezoidal sum with three subintervals indicated by the table. All right. So uh, we were told that it starts at 300. Uh, so that's x uh, sub a of 2. And then what I'm going to do is uh, trapezoidal sum. So it's 1 half. And then uh, from 2 to 5 is 3. And then I have to add up these two values. So 140 plus 1 half. And then from 5 to 8 is 3. And then I have to add up these two values. And then plus from 8 to 12, which is 4. And then I have to add up these two values. So that's negative 270. Uh, you could actually just kind of stop there. Uh, the answer would be in meters. Uh, but I use a calculator, which is kind of cheating, uh, because you're not actually allowed a calculator here. So I would have left what I have in the box, but if you really need to, um, x sub a of 12 is negative 150. And uh, let's take a look at part D, which a lot of my students thought was a complicated problem. But it's really just a related rates question, where you got to figure out all these values. Um, so x sub a uh, is moving to the right. And then uh, I'm calling the other train uh, Y. I probably should have called them A and B, but I don't know. I got caught up in the moment. You know, what are you going to do? And then the question is, uh, we're looking for the rate of change of the distance between them. So I'm going to call that Z. So what I know is that uh, if I use the Pythagorean theorem, uh, since they're moving at a right angle to each other, I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, so here's the relationship. And now what I'm going to do is take the derivative and keep in mind, everything is a function of time, so it's going to be 2x sub a times the derivative of x sub a, which is actually v sub a, and then plus 2 times y times the derivative of y, which is actually the velocity, which is v sub b, 
and then that's going to be equal to 2 times z times, I'm just going to call it dz dt, so that's the rate of change of the distance. And now I need a lot of values to plug in. Um, so x of a is given, that's 300, um, and then uh, v sub a, so this is all happening at t equals 2, so you can read that from the table, that's 100, plus 2 times y is given to be 400. Uh, what I need now is uh, v sub b at 2, but I'm given a function for v sub b, so I can just plug into that. So let's do that. And this simplifies to 125, so times 125, and then 2. I need to figure out what z is, but if I go back to my original Pythagorean theorem, I have 300 squared plus 400 squared equals 500 squared. So who would think in the middle of the AP calculus exam you get a 3, 4, 5 triangle? Um, so z is 500, and then times dz dt. And then what I want to find is dz dt. So what I could do is just uh, divide through by 2 times 500 and put a box around it. Um, but what I'll do is actually simplify it. I actually did this one on paper, if anyone's curious. Uh, so dz dt is 160, and then they actually tell you that it's meters per minute, but meters per minute. All right, so people found that confusing, but it's really just a right triangle related rates question. And uh, I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.